What's up, black and white entertainment fans? It is John Matrix, and I'm coming to you with another video here, folks. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also check out this new clean shirt that we have here. The official black and white network shirt, news, entertainment and sports. You can get it. I'll leave a pin comment where you can actually pick up this shirt and we're going to give you 15 percent off. If you actually put in the discount code Gina rocks in support of Gina Carano. Let's get in today's video, folks. SJWs, man. SJWs, woke people, feminists. I've said it many times before, and I, I know that other channels also have said it before, too, that these people do not support products. They're not educated on pop culture, really. They're not Star Wars fans. They're not comic book fans. But, you know, for the most part, this is who Hollywood has been trying to pander to. So today, folks, I give you another example of how SJWs are pretty stupid, if you ask me. Yesterday, the Mortal Kombat trailer dropped. I did a reaction on um, this channel here. I love that trailer, man. Fatalities, everything. It's going to be an R-rated movie on HBO Max April 16th, if I'm not mistaken, is when it actually does come out. OK. Looking forward to it. Played the video games growing up. I know the characters for the most part. I know there's been many, many other characters. There's probably a few that I don't know, as I have not actually played the game in a very, very long time. But however. SJWs have proven once again, they know nothing about pop culture. They know nothing about video games and they know nothing about Mortal Kombat. So. Let's go ahead and let's look at this article here, folks. It says here, Mortal Kombat fans confuse as Jezebel as who forgot to invite Chun Li. OK, you may be wondering who is Jezebel? Jezebel is a feminist website. A feminist website, man. And these people, they're not fans of, you know, video games and pop culture, or anything like that. Like I said before, we've seen this kind of track record time and time again. SJWs do not support your products. But in this case, they are very much uneducated. OK, now going over here to that website, Jezebel, they have an article entitled who forgot to invite Chun Li to Mortal Kombat. I'm going to read some of this here, folks. OK. Cinema is back, baby, and in a, and in a big way. Forget the. Amateur films of award season where two people stand at the edge of a cliff somewhere in Great Britain, pinning each other, but never finding a way to make their relationship work. There is a new Mortal Kombat hitting HBO Max and life is fucking good. Scorsese is shaking in his oversized spectacles, watching probably for the 15th time the trailer for the last film version that brings to life the gore of the original video game. The trailer itself is worthy of at least two Oscars for its special effects and stunt coordination, specifically for the preview of a scene where Sub-Zero turns his enemy's blood into a knife. What? So based off of this so far, they're already saying they should be getting a, um, an Oscar for special effects. We still got to see the movie, but here we go. Right here. But being the astute film critic that I am, I immediately clocked a glaring error in the film. Where in all the realms is Chun Li? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chun Li, folks. Chun Li is not a part of the Mortal Kombat universe because feminists and SJWs, they're not fans of video games and pop culture. I told you guys that. Chun Li is actually a part of Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Jezebel. You guys don't know this, but they say if there's a battle for the fate of the earth, then don't we need all of the greatest warriors gathered? Which would include Chun Li and her spinning bird kick that can knock a man's head clean off. Sounds like a pretty big plot hole to me that the ultimate street fight is supposed to be one by a rad tag team held by Sonya Blade. No offense to the Sonya stands. Well, at least 
they got a little part right in there. They said the ultimate street fight, even though this is not street fighter. Abs absence of Chun Li aside, the trailer is the dog's bollocks, a term I've learned from watching the bridge also on HBO Mats. If you're into competition shows and the extremely bloody action packed film, which is a super real realistic study on the cross section of Kung Fu and elemental magic will premiere on April 16th. Choose your fighter wisely. Now, here's the thing. I got to give him a little bit of credit for this update. Jezebel has discovered the answer to our question about Chun Li's erasure. And it is that Chun Li is not a part, not part of the Mortal Kombat megaverse. Wow. You see what I'm talking about, folks? I mean, I believe that most normies out there even know that Chun Li is not a part of the Mortal Kombat universe. Now, the bigger question is if these people were actually, you know, Mortal Kombat fans, they would be actually asking, where the hell is Johnny Cage? One of the biggest stars in uh, the Mortal Kombat uh, video games. Apparently, he's not in this movie, but they do have this new character called Cole Young. And my theory is, and I've actually seen some other people say the same thing, that Cole Young is probably actually Johnny Cage. I don't know. Probably so. Something is telling me that they're not going to make this movie without Johnny Cage. Maybe at the end of the movie, you know, Cole will end up taking on the moniker of Johnny Cage and getting the movies and stuff like that. We'll have to see. But I do have to question Jezebel. Why didn't they actually bring up Johnny Cage? It's because they are feminists. Obviously, they don't care about men because that was the biggest glaring omission. If you ask me, when it comes to Mortal Kombat. Where the hell is Johnny Cage? Not Chun Li. Chun Li is Street Fighter, and I love Chun Li. But this let you guys know again: SJWs do not know pop culture. Hollywood, stop pandering to these people. And I'm pretty sure you know the filmmakers of this Mortal Kombat movie are not going to be pandering to the woke mob out there. Based on what we saw in the trailer, you know the fatalities. That's got to be an SJW's worst nightmare. They're not going to go watch this movie. I believe this movie on the surface, just looking at the trailer, is made for the hardcore fans of Mortal Kombat. I love Mortal Kombat. I cannot wait to see this. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white entertainment fans. Chun Li missing from Mortal Kombat because SJW's don't know anything. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Entertainment, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.